Hello to all my mummies and welcome back to the Sailor Luscious channel where I have been absent for such a long time and I so apologize but I am back with a vengeance and here I am with my first video of 2018 where I'm going to be doing a recap of some of the news from 2017. I'm not covering everything, just some of the more things um, that I found really interesting and I know some of them that lit the Sailor Moon community a buzz. After that, Sailor Moon Crystal Set 2 was released on the DVDs. <laughs> then, the next thing, that Sailor Moon R was released in theaters in North America, yes, for the first time, before also being released on DVD with, a, with new box art and a never before make up Sailor Guardians feature act and QA from the LA premiere of the movie. Those are the most exciting things in that box set for me, okay? Moving on. The more Eternal musical not only returned, but it came to America for the first time. Oh, they were getting all kinds of wins last year. <laughs> and that was also released on DVD. Then the original set of Room came to DVD in Japan. The new petite child figures were released, and unfortunately, very sadly, Chris Wiggins, the voice actor of not only Mr. Baxter from episode 41, but the narrator of our opening, passed away. I think we ought to give him a moment of silence. So, after that, things start to pick back up. Mirai was announced as our new Sailor Siren for our musicals as Karin Takashi will not be returning. Or, excuse me, would not be returning. Sailor Moon Supers Part 2 was released on DVD. And Sailor Moon Le Le Movement Finale, which was based on the Star's art, was announced. In, in case I didn't, I didn't specify, as the next part of the musical based on the Star's art. So, after that... Yevgenia Medvedeva wowed not only anime fans, but the world with her awesome Sailor Moon inspired ice skating performance that was, oh my god, so awesome. It was probably one of the best ice skating performances I've ever seen, and I don't say that because I'm biased, but I totally am biased. Just a little bit. And I do watch ice skating from time to time, so it's not like it's the only one I've ever seen. Still biased though. Next, Discounty Publishing released Sailor Moon tabletop games last year, and they look really fun. I'm really upset because I missed the tournament. I couldn't go, and I didn't find out until like the week before anyway, and I would have been able to go. But I will be getting one of these games, um, I think next month? Yeah. I'll have one. It will be in my home, and it will be mine. Next we have the fact that Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3 was finally released on DVD. Well, that happened. Multiple voice casting, multiple voice casting announcements. And we got some new fun co pops Sailor V, Queen Barrel, Sailor Jimmy Moon, Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Saturn, and Sailor Pluto were all released as fun co pops And the Queen Barrel. Pop is still so difficult to find for some reason, but I know people keep finding it in store, but no, nope, not me. Not me or anybody, any of my friends. We also had a Sailor Moon store opening in Japan, as well as the 25th annual classic concert, because of course, Sailor Moon turned 25 last year. The first Sailor Moon Day at New York City Anime Weekend, and of course, the biggest news at all, of all, which is why I've saved it for last, despite happening before some of these things, at the Sailor Moon 25th Anniversary Celebration, we got the announcement that the dream arc for Crystal would be released as a two-part movie in some point. When that is, we still don't know. The hope and guess is sometime this year in 2018. But will that be the case? We don't know. Will we ever know? We hope so. Oh my gosh. And I actually kind of forgot 
to talk about the Sailor Moon 4D attraction that opened in Universal Japan. Which, but that's all I have for today, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the Sailor channel for more Sailor Moon related updates and videos because that's what I do here. But anyway, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. I would appreciate it. <laughs> but that's all I have for you today, guys. I love you. And remember, as I always say, in the name of the moon, we have a great day.